Hello everyone, and welcome to lesson 15. Um, now that we are, the last video we uh, learned how to draw um, onto the screen and we made a 3D cube. Um, now what we can do is essentially we can use, uh, we can draw and fill uh, triangles. But before we do that, uh, what we're going to do today is do kind of what we did last time. And we drew lines, we drew rectangles. But what we're going to do now is we're going to draw ellipses. And drawing ellipses are uh, pretty fantastic. Uh, well, we're not going to do a panel right now. We're just going to do... Damn it, I did it again. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, paint. We're going to do graphics, uh, graph equals e dot graphics. And we're going to do graph dot draw ellipse. So an ellipse is just essentially a circle. So if we do a pens dot black and do a new rectangle F and we're gonna do it the same place again like we did before 50 50 50 50 so with that we can now draw an ellipse that's that's how easy drawing ellipses are there we go we have a giant circle <clears throat> so with that what we can do now that we know how to draw we could do graph dot fill ellipse so with that, we can do a brush dot or brush oh, brushes dot um, orange, and we're gonna pass in that rect. And with that, we now have an orange rectangle with a black background because we're drawing this as well so if we come if we went and um commented this out oops we can then draw just the orange just to fill an ellipse so what another cool thing is we, we can do is um we can add a button so where's a button and we can do a uh, and what we could do is a color dialog and um, we can change the name to color and we can start this. So that what we could do is color dialog one dot show dialog and what we could do is with that it should save the color that we choose so then when we do choose that we can do color dialog one dot color dot bruh well uh color i think we could do it to argb Well, hold on. Maybe we can make it a brush. So if we do brush dot bruh, bruh equals color we change it just to the color well, if we do a brush
color dot. So a brush wouldn't work. So what we need to do is do a just a regular brush. Do we do a solid brush equals bruh and equals new solid brush, and we'd pass in the color dialog one dot color, and with that we would pass in brush, and there you go. So with this, this would work, but we need, when we choose it, because it's on, it's not going to, cons it's consistently updating, we, get, we need to, like, re, the, the pane only happens once, so what we need to do is do an invalidate to refresh everything, so that we can then see it. So if what we do is then reload it, it's black by default because it doesn't have any color. So if we went to the color picker, and there's the color picker, we can then pick a color like uh, pink, and okay. And look at that, it switched colors. And we switch that, it switched colors again. So we can do that with uh, even rectangles as well. Um, That is how we do the color picker, and that's how we fill it. And I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. And, um, yeah, we will be doing some more drawing stuff and possibly saving it out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will, like, uh, the, the, the next project should be out by then, and the Rock, Paper, Scissors project, and I hope you enjoy that so far. And, yeah, guys, I hope, again, give you a like, comment, subscribe. That would be fantastic, and uh, have a great day.